there and welcome to the Guitar Tricks channel. My name is Anders and I'm going to be your host today. Before we get started, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our lessons in the future. For our lesson this week, I'm going to show you a shortcut to a cool and slightly jazzy sound that you can get from moving your old familiar pentatonic pattern around the neck. Let me show you how that works. So as it's often the case, we're in the key of A minor and we're soloing in our good old minor pentatonic blues pattern here. Because it's always great to start with something really familiar and comfortable before you add on and try something new. Now the trick of the day is that you can play more than just this one pattern over an A minor chord or an A minor groove. So just to demonstrate it, I'm going to strum the chord and then I'll freeze it with my sustain pedal. Now play a couple licks in the regular pattern. Regular A minor stuff. But I try and move it up to the E minor pattern up here in the 12th and 15th fret. Hear how jazzy and different that sounds over the A minor chord? The trick is to resolve it right. So find a couple notes that you can land on. So there's the 14th fret of the G string of course, which is the root note in A. It's also the 12th fret of the A string, which is again the lower octave of the root note. Also bending up from the 15th fret is great, it's just a higher root note. You can also end on some of the E notes, won't be quite as resolved because it's the 5th scale degree, but it'll work. So now play some of your basic E minor pentatonic licks over the A minor chord and resolve to one of those notes and you'll sound like you really know what you're doing even if you don't. Pretty fun. Now if you're advanced and know more than just the one pattern of the minor pentatonic scale, you can also find the E minor pentatonic notes within your classic A pattern. You can also try moving the whole pattern up a whole step for a whole other type of sound. So regular A minor, up a whole step, and then resolve to A notes. A bit weirder, but it's still cool. Some jazz fusion players even go crazy and play up a half step to create an insane amount of tension. But I'm going to let you experiment with that one on your own, if that's what you're going for. And that's it for this week's channel episode. I hope you're really excited to go play around with these new colors in your solos on your own. And as you've seen today, it totally works to move the classic familiar pattern around, but maybe this is what will inspire you to actually hunker down and learn some more positions of the minor pentatonic scale, if you don't know that already. Finally. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more great videos and as always, feel free to like or share this lesson with your friends. Have fun with it, I'll see you next time.